Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're joined with Carl Evans, the Chief Commercial Officer at Tape Arc. Carl, thank you so much for being here today. Can you start by telling us about Tape Arc? Great to be with you, Ali. Um, so Tape Arc's really exciting. We solve a really difficult challenge that our customers have, which is taking large volumes of data typically held on tape and migrating that to the cloud very efficiently. Uh, we were inspired through to start the business through an email that we received from AWS that talked about the falling cost of glacier storage. And we realized that a lot of our customers had archives sitting offsite and it was cheaper to store that data in the cloud than it was to sit on tape. So we went about building the world's only tape to cloud dedicated technology stack. And that's what we've rolled out. It's a problem that's ubiquitous across all industries. So we're helping customers in energy, mining, media and entertainment, broadcasters, government organizations, the lot. So it's really focused around how do we get huge volumes of data and migrate it to the cloud. It can often be really complex to migrate massive amounts of data to the cloud and Tapark actually has a solution for this. So can you tell us all about your solution Rapidbox Indexer and what makes this process so easy for your customers? So with our tape experience, we realized that a lot of our customers have huge volumes of tapes. It could be millions of them. And before embarking on that migration journey, they want to understand a little bit more about the collection. And critically, they want to forecast what the storage cost will be. Mm. So for our tape business, we created a tape audit service where we photograph and use some AI tools to extract some really granular information about that collection. And we've ported that across to another customer problem. And that's where our customers have archive boxes full of papers. Mm. These are used all around the world in every industry again. And these customers have a challenge where they either know very little about the collection and they're faced with what, sort of two scenarios. One is let's digitize everything at very high cost and then we can start to sort through it. Or they bring those collections internally and they're faced with putting a subject matter expert in mm. and assessing the collection we thought maybe there's a middle ground. Maybe we can use our AI technology developed on AWS to provide an indexing service for those customers so they can find that needle in the haystack and then target that directly. That's incredible. I love it. It sounds like it makes it a lot easier for the customer. So what are some of the customers and in specific industries that you, know, you guys work with? Because you mentioned a few of the industries before, but can you give us some examples? Well, it's pretty broad. Um, but any organization who has data retention requirements, particularly for paper, is applicable. I'll give you a good example of one of our energy customers. They've been storing paper archives for over 50 years. They've lost track of a lot of those archives, uh, but hidden in those archives are some real gold, and there's also information they no longer need to retain. So the purpose of the index is to go through and pull out critical information off the front covers of every folder that's held within those archive boxes and give those tags to the customer in a way that allows them to search through the content. And that'll be things like searching on date ranges, searching on geographic locations, even through to searching through things like historical logos on subcontractor reports. So this is really finding the needle in the haystack and helping them to make that decision. Do we digitize this and put it into our digital archive and preserve it properly? Or, do, or can we relinquish that and we can stop paying for that physical storage? So cool, this is amazing. And Carl, some of the archive collections you deal with must be pretty large. So how does Tape Arc scale for these projects? And is there actually a limit for the size of the projects that you can take on? We have, um, we have a scaling mindset. We went into this with um, coming from our tape experience where our customers have uh, millions of tapes in their collections and those collections go into the exabytes of data. We applied a similar methodology where we could scale for our rapid archive box index tool. Um, and so we have, um, we have the ability to deploy very quickly. We have the ability to process the videos very quickly and we give those tags so the customer can sort them quickly. So when you look at this at scale, um, it's not about reading through masses of PDFs, it's really honing in on those tags that are really critical for decision making. Carl, I'm fascinated and I know a lot of customers might be watching this and, and wanting to get in touch or find out how they can, how they can take advantage of Tape Arc. So where do they go? How do they get a hold of you? Best place to reach us is through our website, tapearc.com or through email info at tapearc.com. We operate out of Australia, the US and Europe. 
Carl, it's been a pleasure speaking to you today and I've actually learned a lot. So thank you so much and we'll see you next time. Thanks, Ali. Bye.